And welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the January review in our very first season in the Skybet Championship. Now, as you can see from the home screen, it's going really, really badly. We are trailing behind in the uh, relegation zone at the moment. I'm going to take you through through some of the uh, changes that we've made in the January review to try and counteract this. I'm going to warn you now, we weren't able to make many. One of the reasons we weren't able to make many is because we are quite a lot in debt and our transfer budget uh, is looking a lot healthier now because I've made a few changes, but uh, yeah, it was quite a lot in the red. It was minus 7k at one point. Um, so yeah. Right, let's take a look at the notes. So the first thing to note is that I've made uh, one change right at the beginning of the season. We had uh, Tony Quinn, uh, who was with us on loan. Let me see if I can find him. Tony Quinn from uh, Northampton. Now, I realized we were spending um, a little bit over budget. And we had uh, quite a lot of loonies, so... I decided early on to drop Quinn and to get in Andy. So Andy is a free transfer. His wage is actually massive, which I then realized it probably wasn't the best solution. But um, he's resolute. He's um, it's quite a key player for us anyway. But overall, everyone's doing quite pure, poorly anyway. So yeah, I'm not sure if in the end, all things considered, that was the best move. Probably not. Um, so that was like straight away uh, a change that we made very early on in the season. Um, then I don't think we made many of the changes. No, I think I think that was all. Now in January we made two changes, which were in fact three changes, but I'll come on to that in a minute. So if you go back to transfers, we you'll see that there are. Um, uh, Two transfers here. So the first transfer was a one month loan of Danny Finlayson. Uh, it was only one month, so I could prepare myself to release Neil Slatery. Now, Neil Slatery, in all fairness, was quite a good player for us, but I think he was, we were playing something like 3 or 4k worth of wages. So um, I thought we could have afford to send him back uh, and retrieve some of that cash and survive with some of the other center backs so we had danny for one month and then we got andy who's just sorry not andy adam who's just arrived so he's going to be playing our first match uh for us uh in the this next match we're going to play and the other change is and again in an, in an attempt to um reduce our loan uh, the number of players on loan and also the wage budget uh, we promoted Crane Noon to the senior squad and we released uh, Glenn Middleton whom if you remember was on loan from a, uh, for us from Dundee so yeah so we sent him back he wasn't all that great anyway so so that was quite good for us. Get Craig some senior squad uh, action as well. And to be fair, he was already playing quite a few matches previously anyway. We also released two of our um, under-23s. So Neil Holt, who actually played in a senior team for us previously. And Aaron Webster, one of our own youth. Uh, as far as youth goes... If I just take you quickly through the amount of youth we're using in our squad in first team games, we have quite a few, quite a few right wingers, and not many of them are good, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but yeah, a few successful players playing for us, but in in all, everyone's playing quite poorly. Tom Yates is holding on. Well, I have actually haven't given any matches to Vince. I think he played one at the beginning, but Tommy is spelling well, so I'm, I don't want to kind of get into a point that I am swapping all people all the time, so I'm just keeping with Tom at the moment. 
Uh, yeah, but overall, everyone else is sort of not great, really. So, quite difficult to maintain. The schedule isn't as busy as in previous seasons. All we, all we played was two rounds of Carabao Cup and one round of the FA Cup. We got knocked out instantly by Man City, as expected. Uh, quite a large number of losses this, this season, so that's a first for us um, with th this many losses. So yeah, quite tough. Not 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 easy this season. Um, yeah, so the the group is doing quite well, but we just don't have the quality. We don't have the money to spend on the quality either. So that's one of the things. Um, the biggest thing for us is the youth setup. If we had if we didn't have that expense, then we wouldn't be in the red every month. Um, but yeah. Oh well, we invest in youth and now we're playing some of our youth, so that's fine. Now, let's jump into a match. I've already selected the squad. I'm not sure if I've done the tactics, but yeah, so we're going to play with Tom Yates, Richard South and Max Clark, who is retiring at the end of the season. Our new centre-back with Harkness. Uh, we have our new half-back as well. Mike Davis. And then two of our youth playing on the left and right of the attack. Jan Dana Danda. Uh, Shadow Striker and Miles as our striker. Now let me just check, double check if I've done the tactics. I have not. Oh, maybe I have. Um, no, I haven't. Let me just see. Balanced. Okay. Okay, so let's go balanced as the coach suggests. We'll have to give a new number to our new member of the team. And off we go. So, playing Sunderland, I have no idea how far down Sunderland are. Uh, can I still check? 15th. And we're playing away from home as well. So yeah, I, I would say the biggest challenge at the moment is money. Uh, we don't have any lack of players wanting to come to our club, but we do have a lack of money. So the budget is the biggest issue we have at the moment. So yeah, it's quite likely that we'll get demoted, or relegated, I should say. Uh, but we do get a parachute payout if that um, if that happens. However, I've looked at the at the amount, and the amount isn't like we get like 120k or 125k, something along those lines. So it's nowhere near enough to cover the hole in our finance. Okay, so we're holding on, huh? Let's see. Richard South. I think that's it. I'm kind of stopping a bit because I thought I was about to be interrupted, but I don't think that's the case. Well, that might still be the case, but it throws me off a little bit when I think I'm, someone's about to interrupt me. I can hear people in the background.
Come on, Oni, you can do it. Nice. Okay, so that's Craig, Noon, and Jack. Two of our youth working together for a goal. That's pretty good, actually. We're winning. This is this is different from usual. <laughs> Okay, and then oh, drawing again. Yeah, it's always annoying having people in the background because you're always thinking, are they going to interrupt? <laughs> They're not going to interrupt, but no. <laughs> this time they decided not to. But it always throws me off anyway. Nice defense that by Yates. I probably should have done subs, but I was so distracted with whatever was going on in the background that I forgot. Okay, so now which one of these two is the better? Apparently him. Um Okay, made them slightly too late, but hopefully that would still help. And also, we're one man down. Oh no, they are also 10 players at the moment because they lost one by injury. Okay, so it's a draw, so that's not too bad. We might even have time for a second match, so let's, let's go ahead. Uh, debut... As you can see from our training as well, um, as the game progresses, we're practicing a lot of penalties. And the reason for that is we have the worst penalty rating in a league. So I want to make sure that we improve that. And also it doesn't tire us too much. I'm hoping we'll also improve composure. And things like one-on-one -on -one and reflexes for goalkeepers. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that's fine. Now, Mark Dodds is an icon in our club, I think. Which means um, the fans back him up. And he's quite influential so far. I think that's true. Uh, yeah, Mark Dodds. He's an icon now. Harry Nock, who no longer plays for us, was the favourite personnel. And I'm only favourite personnel. I'm not an icon, apparently. Even though I brought him all the way up to... Skype at Championship, but I'm still not worthy of being an icon. Slightly ungrateful fans, I think. Oh, that's good. And yeah, also the youth candidates have been um, predicted to be a real golden gen generation. So there should be at least two or three players that are very good. Or extremely good, we should say. We we were poached two players. Uh, so the the what are they? Um clause the yeah, they're like um payments per professional cap or whatever you call them yeah the clauses will come through in a couple of years I don't think they I don't think they come through this year but in a couple of years so we're gonna play Swansea here let's just manage who's tired and whatnot so Richard South uh, I'm happy with those two but actually he's tired so let's put Brad Hills and try 
had him on the other side. Max Max Clark. Uh, that's fine. Now he's suspended, so we're going to bring bring in. I was going to bring in Simon, but Simon's injured, so let's just leave that blank for now. We're going to have to play with Finley. Mark is um, Mark Dodge is still on injury. Okay, let's bring in one of our youth players for that box-to-box -box position. Uh, Lee Harvey. We had a good review for his training anyway, so let's try him. He's played for us before and didn't have very many good ratings. But um, hopefully that's not too bad. Um, I think we have everyone we need. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so Hereford Tactics. We're still going to go with positive, but we're going to... Sorry, still going to go with balanced. We're going to make some adjustments. Put that back to balanced. And off we go against Swansea. We also have a youth player on the bench. Probably don't, don't need him actually. I should have put someone from the first team on the bench. But, um, oh well. Too late for that now. So we're playing at Swansea's football ground. Also, uh, well, I still remember. So, um, a few episodes ago, for actually for quite a few episodes previously, we were having issues with, um, dropped frames in the encoding so I've dropped the frame rate to 30 frames per second which is still good I mean it's not gameplay standard but it's still good um, hopefully that doesn't make the video look weird from the game but it sure it should help overall to keep the video going <clears throat> that's quite a good goal from Pickering Nice. Oh, well done, Yates. Yeah, like I said, Tom is doing quite well for us. I'm not sure where. Let me just pause it for a second. I'm not sure where Swansea are in the, in the table. The eighth. Oh, that's quite good then. Okay. Um. No changes. Noon's gonna get a. Oh no. I thought he was gonna get a yellow card there, but obviously it was forgiven. Swans are pressing in a bit more, but Tom seems to have it under control. Really poor pass there by Finlay. Yeah, quite a quite a few mistakes there overall. Poor passing, poor marking. Quite a few things going wrong there. No one's marking that guy out there. 
and then they don't know what to do really. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to make some changes in defense. So get these guys out. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Too old. <laughs> he can't run. That's a shame. Oh, ah, oh, man. That's a pretty good go, actually. But yeah. I think we're just missing some quality at the front, really. Like the, the front four. They're okay, but they're not. Obviously, Dodds, I forgot to mention actually. Dodds has been injured pretty much all season now. He's going to come back in at the end of the month. But we haven't had him for four months, I think. So that's been a huge blow for us I mean Craig's been doing okay but he's nowhere near as good as Mark Dodds I'm not even sure how well Dodds is going to recover from his injury but so that's a shame because Tom Yates is having quite a good match he always does actually but uh, just at the front, pff, it's hard to get anything out of the f that front four. Let's look at our... So Miles has got seven goals, which isn't bad, actually. But usually our striker isn't meant to be the top goal scorer. Um, we normally have like the left winger, the right winger, and the shadow striker almost outperform. Which isn't being the case at the moment. So if we look at... Yeah, that's the one I want to look at. So we've got Miles with 7. Jack with 6, which is alright. But then... Obviously that's not fair, because Craig only came in in January. Dodds has not scored any this season yet, because he hasn't played very many matches. Shadow Strike, I can't even see. Oh, yeah, 2 from Jan. And... Where's the other guy? None from Finley. So not great. So next up we're going to play against Brentford. Um, all of our players are starting to ask for better contracts. So I might need to do that soon. Update their contracts and all that. But yeah, so it's not looking great. It's looking as if we're going to end, <coughs> end the season on that. Uh... Relegation zone, um, which is okay. I mean, we've never been relegated in this series, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're going to try and... Is it, we're not too far away, so we're trailing behind five points. If we can somehow make those five points back up, then we'd, we'd be all right. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of the situation at the moment. We're not doing too well in the sh championship. Uh, finances is a are quite bad as well um we have we've had quite a few players for a long time so for example brad hills and kaya both of our center backs kaya is more of a backup now but yeah brad hills um he's been with us since van Ram and north so all the way from the bottom to this level so no wonder that starting to struggle now because they've been um coming up all the ranks and 
realistically players wouldn't go all the way from the bottom to the top professionally like that so yeah just one of these things we need to find some money and improve the club don't know how we're gonna do that but i think the board needs to work on something i'm, I'm hoping that the club will be taken over this summer there were some rumors that the previous season um and the season before that as well so I'm hoping that this season the rumors will tr will be true and our club will be taken over and we'll have some sort of reinvestment or something. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for today. I'm going to set up now for the game against Brentford and see how that goes. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out the Patreon. Thanks so much for our only Patreon at the moment. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.